Thai Prime Minister Seta Tawisin is scheduled to visit the Thai Myanmar border town of Me Sot tomorrow amid fresh clashes between Myanmar forces and armed ethnic groups in the region. And the latest violence has been centred in the town of Miawadi. That's in Myanmar, which shares the border with Thailand's Me Sot. Now, the Thai District Police Chief estimates at least a thousand people have fled into Thailand due to the conflict. Mr. Seta will visit Me Sot with his foreign minister. He is scheduled to visit citizens in that area. Thailand has crafted short and long-term plans to ensure it can respond promptly to emergent situations. Now, the Thai Premier emphasised last week that he does not want the clashes to have any impact on Thailand's territorial integrity and that he is ready to protect his people and their borders. He also says his country is ready to provide humanitarian assistance if needed. A U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, will also raise the crisis in Myanmar, along with other regional issues such as Taiwan and North Korea, when he visits China this week. Well, let's get more from CNA's May Wong. She joins us live from Thailand's May Sot. May, can you describe the latest situation along the Thai-Myanmar border, particularly after days of those aerial bombings and firings? It's a sense of nervous calm right now. All is quiet here on the front of the Thai Myanmar border in Masot City, where I'm on Thai soil. But remember here that many of the explosions, as well as bombings, aerial bombings for that, usually happens late in the night or in the early hours of the morning. And that is the reason why Thailand continues to ramp up its patrols, continue to station Humvees, armoured vehicles here with machine guns mounted on it to make sure that they're watching the border extremely closely. Over the last two days, I understand that at least 100 explosions have already gone off here and very close to the Myanmar as well as Thai border. And earlier on Monday, I even noticed a billowing of smoke when I was on a hilltop actually overlooking into Miawadi and also two explosions were being heard. Now, refugees have been coming over here simply because, as you can imagine, the kind of situation is very tense over in Myanmar, over in Miawadi, as you can see over there. Pretty dark, but you can see a little bit of light with all these Thai soldiers right here monitoring the situation. So, at this point in time, we are seeing the refugees move in and out. At least 3,000 have come over to Thailand for refuge, but they've also gone back because today I witnessed about 100 refugees were seen going back to the Miawadi site because they feel as though it is safe for now. But you must remember here that Thailand is not resting on its laurels, and that's the reason why an army commander actually told me they are on guard 24-7, and also they have spread out to cover even more points right now along the Thai-Myanmar border. ตราบใดที่ยังมีความขัดแย้งในในประเทศเพื่อนบ้านเนี่ยอันตรายI may give us more details about how Thailand is reacting to the clashes taking place so close to their border. Well, Thailand is seriously not taking this very lightly and also for the very first time have made very strong public statements. For one, the Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister and also the Foreign Ministry spokesperson have all come out to say that they will actually react, they will defend Thailand's sovereignty and also be able to intercept any encroachments of airspace or if the bullets or explosions occur inside Thai soil, well, they will definitely have a comeback for that. They've also sent a diplomatic note to the Myanmar side to tell them to refrain from any of such encroachments because Thailand here will retaliate simply because it is the Thai citizens that they're protecting. It's also the Thai properties and also the sovereignty that Thailand is protecting. And so that's the reason why we continue to observe the fact that the Thai government is going to set up or has actually already set up a committee, a special committee to look into monitoring the Myanmar crisis. That committee is actually fronted by the foreign minister himself. 
and also for the fact that they will come up with policies and also be able to report all of this to the Prime Minister himself, who has a keen interest on the situation. Now, earlier you mentioned that the Prime Minister, Seth is expected to come to Mesot on Tuesday. But I'm also hearing word right now that he may not come and instead have his foreign minister come over here. And if the foreign minister comes, Pan Pri is going to be here in less than 10 days because he was just last year monitoring the same situation. So a lot of the things are happening and they're evolving very quickly. And earlier I spoke with the Korean National Union, which is the armed organization who has said that they have taken over Miawadi, and they told me that they, in fact, want to work with Thailand. They, in fact, hope that Thailand will establish a working relationship with them so that they can actually have a peaceful as well as secured border area. Let's take a listen. Both sides have a benefit for our people, so we can work together, not only border trade, but also with other issues like anti-drug issue or illicit business issue, something like that. We can do many things, we can work together with Thailand under the SAC control so many years, but nothing, nothing, nothing to have a, a progress on the development, something like that. But now if we have a kind of like control and the, under our administration, we can surely foresee that this is, we can make together with Thailand and then the, the progress on the development center will become quick. So many moving parts. Uh, May, thank you so much for that report. CNA's May Wong reporting live from Mesot.